Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is Enroll a user in Zoom webinar on successful Instamojo payment. Now suppose guys you are hosting a webinar using Zoom and it is a paid webinar for some premium customers only. Now you are using Instamojo to collect the payment for that particular webinar. Now every time you receive a payment on your Instamojo payment link, you have to get the details of the customer who has made the payment and enroll that very same customer into your Zoom webinar as a new registrant. But the manual process of doing this process is very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever we will receive a new payment on our Instamojo account, automatically the customer who made the payment will be added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. Interesting, right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Instamojo to Zoom and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of the payment, which we are receiving on our Instamojo account inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, we will send the details of the customer who actually made the payment to Zoom so that we can add that very same customer as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. So let's begin with our process. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we have to search for Instamojo. Instamojo it is. And then after that, in trigger event, select new sale. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Instamojo and Pavli Connect. And using this very same webhook URL, we will get the details of the new payment which we are receiving on our Instamojo account. And how we are going to do this, you can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here and we have to add this very same webhook URL to the payment link or the payment page using which we are getting the payments on our Instamojo account from the customers. So you either you can add this very same webhook URL to your existing payment link or payment page or you can create a new one. So in this video, I'm going to create a new one. So just go to the dashboard of your Instamojo account and here on create new, just click on it and select payment link over here. Then after that, at this page, switch to smart link and give this purpose a name, this, give this payment a purpose name. So for example, I'll name this uh, payment link as registration for developers conference webinar. Okay, only 30 characters are allowed, so I'll make it short. Okay, the registration for conference. And I'll give this payment a flat pricing of rupees nine. So this is just a dummy pricing. I'm taking an example of rupees nine. Click on customize link and at this update payment link page, just select smart action over here. And after that, select add webhook from the drop down below. So here after selecting add webhook, here we have a field to paste the webhook URL. And at this very same pace field, we just have to paste the very same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. After that, just click on done. So after clicking on done, just now we have created a new payment link in our Instamojo account. And this is the URL of that particular payment link. Just copy it and give it, open it in a new tab. Just paste it and open it. So this is my payment link. So using this link, I will be getting the payments. Now we have to actually make a test payment, a dummy payment over here using the details of a dummy customer to whom we will be going to add as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. 
So here in public connect, as we make a test payment here in public connect, we can see that it is showing us waiting for web book response, which means public connect is waiting to get the details or the data of new payment from uh, Insta Mojo and public connect. So we are going to do the same. Let's enter the details of a dummy user. For example, dummy name, a dummy email address, as well as a dummy phone number. Okay, so this is a dummy phone number, test phone number. I have entered random numbers. So this is the details of a dummy user. Just click on next. And after that, I'm going to make a payment over here. Let me make a live payment. And the payment is done. Here we can see that we have successfully received a payment from a user, a customer named as dummy name. This is the email address and this is the phone number of that very same customer. And because we have connected this payment page of our Instamojo account with Pabli Connect using a webhook URL, we will see that as we receive this payment, instantly we will receive a response or the data of this very same payment in Pabli Connect as well. So let's get back to Pabli Connect. And yes, guys, here in our workflow and trigger window, we have received a response from Instamojo. And in this response, we can find the payment ID of this very same payment, which we have received just now. We have the status of payment, currency, as well as the amount of payment. So we have successfully connected our Instamojo payment page with Pabli Connect and received the details or the data of new payment receiving on our Instamojo account and Pabli Connect as well. But guys, you will notice one thing over here that we have the details of the payment, but actually we don't have the complete details and the details of the customer are also missing who actually made the payment in this response. So here in important note, we can read that, note that if you need full details corresponding to any transaction ID, then you need to use the Instamojo get payment detail event in the next action step. So basically using this payment ID in the next step and the action step of Instamojo get payment details, we have to retrieve the details of the customer who actually made the payment. So we are going to do the same. Just scroll down and come to this action window. And here in choose app, we have to search for Instamojo once again. Instamojo it is. And then in action event, select get payment details. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to once again connect our Instamojo account with Pabli Connect. And this time to make the connection, we require the private API key and private authentication token of our Instamojo account. So here you must be thinking how we are going to get these details. So to get the private API key and private authentication token of your Instamojo account, just go to, go to the dashboard of your Instamojo account and on the left side, you can see several options over here. And out of all these options, there is option named as API and plugins. Just click on API and plugins and you will find the API key and authentication token of your own Instamojo account. Just copy those details from there and paste it over here in this connection window in Pabli Connect. And just click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection, so I will click on select existing connection and click on save. After connecting our Instamojo account in the action step as well, it is asking us for the payment ID. That what is the ID of that payment, the transaction which we, of whose details we want to retrieve. So in our trigger response, we have received the payment ID of that particular payment or the particular transaction which we have received. So we have to basically map this very same payment ID over here in this payment ID field. And the process of mapping guys is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the Instamojo responses, in trigger window which we have received, we can see all the responses which we have received. And out of all these responses, select the response of payment ID and map it. And after mapping it, just click on save and send test request. Now after we click on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will find all the details regarding the payment ID which we have mapped. Basically the payment or the transaction which we have received just now on our Instamojo account. So we have the uh, status of this payment, the currency, amount of the payment, name of the customer, mobile number and email address of the customer which they have entered while making the payment on the payment page. Then we will scroll down and we will find other details regarding this payment as well. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected our Instamojo account with Pabli Connect and received the details or the data of the customers who are making a payment on our Instamojo account. Now after that, we have to send the very same details of this customer to Zoom so that we can add this customer as a new registrant on our Zoom webinar. 
For that, just scroll down and click on this Add Action Step button over here. And after that, here in Choose App, search for Zoom. Zoom it is. And after that, in Action Event, we can see there are lots and lots of Action Event over here, out of which we will select Add a Webinar Registrant. Select the Action Event, click on Connect, and select Add New Connection. Now we have to connect our Zoom account with Pavli Connect. And just to make this connection, just click on Connect with Zoom. And guys, because I have already logged into my Zoom account in my browser, Pavli Connect detected the very same account and established the connection. And after connecting our Zoom account, here it is asking us for the webinar. That in which webinar I want to add this person as a registrant. So in the drop down below, we can see all the webinars present in my Zoom account. Out of all this webinar, I want to add this person in the webinar named as Developers Conference. So select that particular webinar over here. Then it is asking us for the email address, first name, last name, and phone number of the newly uh, new registrant to whom we want to add. So we have received the email address. We have extracted the details of the customer of InstaMojo payment, and we have received the email address of the customer in that response over here. So we have to basically map this very same response of email address here in email address field. And as we know, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses of Instamojo get payment details, select the response of email address and map it. Then it is asking us for the first name of the person. But here we have received the collectively received the full name of the person, full name of the customer who actually made the payment. So basically we have to separate the first name and the last name from this response. Now to do so, just click on this add action step button over here between Zoom and Instamojo. And here in Choose app, we will use a feature of Pavli Connect, which is text formatter. Text formatter it is. After selecting text formatter, in action event, we will select split text and click on connect. Then after connecting it, it is asking us text to split. split that what text we want to split. So we want to split the text of this name, the response of this name into first name and last name. So we will be mapping this very same response of name over here in text to split. Just click on this and from the responses of Instamojo get payment details, select the response of customer theme. Then it is asking us separator. So the separator will be the space. So we want to separate the text before and after the space between them. So we will use space as a separator. And to add the space as a separator, we have to enter space in double curly braces. After entering the separator, it is asking us segment index. So here we will select all and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we can see the first name and the last name of the customer who actually made the payment is now splitted, is now separated. Now he, from this response, one by one, we will map the first name and the last name in the Zoom step. But because we have added another step before our Zoom action step, we just have to click on connected once. And by selecting existing connection, just click on save. So once again, we have to connect our Zoom account. And after that, just click on this field of first name. And from the drop down below, we can see the response from text formatter as well. From this response, select and map the first name. And follow the same process for the last name as well. At last, we will map the phone number from the Instamojo get payment details response. This is the response of phone number, just map it. After mapping all these details of the customer who has made the payment into the Zoom action step to add that very same customer as a registrant, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a very positive response to us. This response shows the details of the customer whose details we have mapped over here. Basically, the customer who made the payment on our Instamojo payment page is now successfully added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. So let's check it. We will get back to Zoom. And here at this page, you can see I have opened the webinars page. Let me open it. Okay, so we have uh, added registrant in this webinar named as Developers Conference. Open the page of this webinar, particular webinar. And we will scroll down and we will reach to the uh, attendees page. Just click on this. Okay, sorry, manage attendees. We have one attendee over here, as we can see. Just click on this uh, import or CSV list. Just click on edit. And we can see that the very same customer, dummy name, whose details we have entered while making the payment on our Instamojo account is now successfully added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. 
which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, after the creating of this automation, every time we will receive a new payment on our InstaMojo payment page, the very same customer who made the payment will be added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. So let's test this automation in real time once. We'll get back to InstaMojo, go to payment link section, and once again, we'll copy the very same payment link and paste it in a new tab. And once again, we will enter the details or the data of a new dummy customer. Just for example, we'll enter test name. This is the name of the customer, test name. Then a email address. And a phone number. Okay. So let's make a payment over here. And we can see that just now we have received another successful payment by a customer named as test name. This is the email address and this is the phone number of that customer. Now guys, we will see that the very same customer who made the payment will be added, will be enrolled or will be added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar automatically instantly without any manual efforts. So let's get back to Zoom. And once again, we will refresh this page of webinar. And then we will check for webinar list registration list over here. So we have two registrant now. Let's check it. And yes, guys, the very same registrant test name, very same email address, the very same user who made the payment on our InstaMojo payment page is now automatically instantly added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar, which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now let's get back to public clinic workflow and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we have created a workflow in public connect and in this workflow, we have selected InstaMojo as our trigger application and new sale as our trigger event. Then after using a web URL, we have connected our InstaMojo payment page or payment link with public connect so that we can get the details or the data of new payment, which we are receiving in public connect. After that, we have received the response of new payment, but that response was not consisting of the details of the customer who made the payment. So in the next step, in the action step, we have once again selected InstaMojo and using the action event get payment details, we have retrieved the details of the customer. In that response, we have collectively received the full name of the customer. So using the text formatter, a feature by public and split text, we have separated the first name and last name because Zoom takes the response or the registration name in the first name and last name in two different fields. And after that, we have collectively sent all of those data to Zoom so that we can add that very same customer who made the payment as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using public connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own public connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check public and pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.